Okay, so we're going on a random ride today. Trying out this new sat nav system, which is called Kalimoto. And you can predefine routes with uh, more bendy roads, twisty roads. Slight downturn for this is that Perth doesn't have too many uh, twisty roads. But we'll just put a random um, ride in just to see how this thing performs. So Catherine is behind me. The odd time she might be ahead as well. But we, uh, we have an idea of the suburbs we're going to. We just don't know the exact route. So this ride is very much going to be uh, like a, a suburbs ride. So riding through the different towns nearby. It's 23 degrees and 12.38, the 29th of March 2020. The forecast today was for uh, sunny weather or cloudy sunny weather but so far quite cloudy. So we're passing Lake Gwellup. This is a uh, reserve or regional open reserve they call them and has lots of uh, bulrushes in there so presently no lockdown still in WA uh, which isn't too bad considering the rest of Australia I think the majority of Australia has uh, more cases and um, so yeah no lockdowns and people are coming and going and hopefully practicing um, social distancing as well we're coming into a suburb called Balcata I used to actually work in Balcata for a time I was printing in a firm and also doing um, a bit of printing and a bit of um, costing estimates and with it being a Sunday generally there's not that many people about anyhow so it's hard to gauge how many people are intentionally not coming out today so we have another 37 kilometers to ride until we do a well we're going to do a round trip from where we started from home to go back and uh, with a, another 37 kilometres to go. Now we're crossing before too long a easterly or westerly easterly freeway, which is the Reed Highway. And we've just crossed that. And the majority of the suburban uh, roads are usually 60 kilometres an hour maximum speed. This suburb is now called Warwick. So a completely random uh, route as I mentioned earlier so uh, even some of the suburbs I may not be too familiar with already I see an issue with this app because it's telling us to go all the way along that road Right, we're in now to then turn around and do like a big U-turn when I can just do one here so I don't know why I couldn't have gone straight out from where we came from that's a bit strange
this has got me completely confused with this uh, navigation system at the moment. Oh, I'm suddenly on the correct route. It's only until you start using these uh, nav systems to know how good or how bad they are. So far the jury's out. It's saying turn left and then it's saying turn right. I don't understand how this thing's working. doing here 200 meters turn right I don't think Kat's gonna be able to make this one or not yes yeah, she can good so maybe not so much of a uh, random ride, more like a magical mystery tour. So I have to completely ignore the purple strips and I have just to look at the far right of the uh, iPhone just to see the instruction there. It does have uh, turn by turn um, audio but I turned mine off because I also had uh, Catherine on the uh, system as well and I was getting a lot of feedback with uh, static so I've turned the system off so I'm purely going to go visual here ok I can see what it's doing now as well so the purple is the line that we also follow and it's going to take us left and then back out again and then back onto the road where we just come from so no I don't like the way this thing actually navigates like now it's as if you have to go to a particular point for it to continue the rest of the journey because it's got like I think three or four points to aim for to continue but surely it should just once you've been nearby you should be able to then just carry on if you don't actually go to the exact point as in carry on with the rest of the journey so the actual system picks it up knows where you are and then recalibrates or recalculates and Catherine will be wondering where the heck we're going because we're going around like in circles but I think this thing is so particular that you have to go to the a particular route to continue the rest of it correctly like I say, it's the first time I've used this app, so I'm not familiar with it at all. So now we're turning right 300 metres ahead. Then we're now picking up the rest of the, uh, the route. The next turn is a left turn 1.5 kilometers from now. So we're turning left here onto Wanneru Road. This suburb is Kingsley and when Catherine and I first came here in 2003 we were looking to buy a house and we actually looked up this way and I think it was just on the right hand side by these traffic lights just a house, it was a show home at the time and uh, I think it was up there, a house we actually was considering to buy but we decided that this place, Kingsley was a little bit too far north for, the, for convenience as such uh, so as in it was more inconvenient to live further north so we wanted some place a little bit further south because at the time Catherine was working at the hospital in uh, Subiaco so the weather is improving, the sun is out and about we're 24 degrees and I think we're on um, Nangara Road 
which takes you towards a suburb called Ellenbrook, up this way. And Ellenbrook was also a place we considered to move to, or to buy a house. Um, but again, that was even further north than the previous uh, aforementioned property. So we quickly uh, put uh, Ellenbrook off the, the radar, the map, for us to be buying a property. So we have another 27 kilometers to ride before we get home. That's what's confusing, it has the route carrying on but then it's saying turn right here and that's what confused me last time. That's it doing a Yui here. Catherine's probably looking, thinking, where am I going? But I'll explain to her how this uh, satellite navigation system works. Yeah, it's got me going back again, all the way around. This app is so confusing. I do not know what it's trying to do. It's just taking me all the way back around again just like it did the first time for the first point so not sure whether I'll be using this uh, again might give it one more try in the future To Malaga. Again, I used to work in Malaga in a printing firm. It's like a recurring uh, theme. Spent two and a half years in a printing company there. A good little team, good little uh, band of uh, people. It was good fun working there. So this is going to take us to this first roundabout and back and then uh, a continuation of the road of where we've just come off. just about reaching point three of this random route and again Catherine will wonder why we just didn't go straight on here so the route doesn't seem to be intelligent enough to know that if you're at a crossroads that you just continue it just seems to be transfixed on a particular point that you sort of set it just seems bizarre that it puts out these little extra bits to maybe extend the route I mean I know like I say before it lets you know how far the journey is going to be so this is another 13 kilometers but why it thinks it has to add in that little bit of an add-on down there to continue on the same road we we're on it's just to my mind it's stupid so so far uh, this Cali Motor app gets a big fat zero for me I also downloaded uh, a similar type of uh, ride route planner and uh, maybe the next video 
is using that app and again as a, a total blind first time use and just see how that uh, is for being user friendly and how it goes through its predefined routes and whether have, we have those little tag on extra bits which are needless so that'd be interesting so I'll do that next time and this is the final leg of this uh, journey we're taking now on our way back home it's going to take us towards Wanneroo or it should be and then uh, from Wanneroo to Innerloo I also think we're going to go through Stirling as well and we're going through a place called Dianella and uh, I used to work in a print firm funnily enough in Dianella only for a short period of time that I can't remember exactly um, what I did there uh, apart from printing I think I just printed for a time there I'm ignoring this actual route uh, on the map because it said go off to come back on this road again utterly pointless so now it's recorrected itself to say okay carry straight on this app is just frustrating so I might not use it again I would certainly not pay the subscription fee of eight dollars a month for it it just yeah it's just pathetic in the way it actually plans routes there's been no way a review of this app it's just purely been a first time use of it to see how a, a random ride is where it takes us and what it does the ride itself has been okay it's taken to us uh, taken us to a couple of places where we may not have decided to ride two so a different route but the way it actually plans the route is bizarre in fact I'm just going to drop back now Catherine knows where we're going I would have thought so she knows that we're heading back so uh, I'll take Catherine's lead from here on then again she may intentionally drop back to allow me to lead again not many people around but that's not surprising really it is a Sunday and in Perth it seems to be that not many people actually walk around in the districts they seem to drive anywhere they seem to want to go so you don't tend to see too many people actually just uh, driving, uh, walking on the streets. So that's why I was saying before it's hard to gauge whether people are staying at home or so because of the uh, COVID-19 or whether it should, this is just normal potentially for, for us. I'm moving towards this is normal. So this is Stirling as uh, we turn into this uh, area. And the council buildings are on the right with that statue. Just on the left here is the uh, Stirling train station which runs north and south so south to the city on our left if you went right you would go up to Joondalup I think the uh, line now goes a little bit further than Joondalup as well now I'm not sure which suburb it stops at now but it will continue further north as and when the city of uh, Perth expands as per usual so the sprawl is predominantly north and south not too far easterly so that was a random mystery tour using that Calimoto navigation app 